Not anymore. Not since the barbs uh, came after me. The what? The barbs. The barbs? Are you unfamiliar with what the barbs are? No, what is that? The Every stand culture group on the internet has like their own little name. Mm-hmm. Nicki Minaj's fans call themselves the barbs. Oh, the oh the bar oh yeah I, of course I followed your beef with the I didn't know they were yeah. the bar why the barbs they just call themselves the bar I think Barbie maybe I don't know Bar- oh my God I'm so sorry please don't dox me <laughs> <laughs> please I'm so sorry <laughs> well you know <laughs> I, for those who don't know what Hassan's talking about he got into a public spat with Mickey Min- Mickey oh it, it's all because she's okay. a mouse he, he said Mickey <laughs> Mickey Minaj because she's a fucking Disney mouse oh no it's all got him we're, we're we're literally canceled all right I did trust episode. me I've been canceled by k-pop stands literally nothing could ever hold a candle to that I'm gonna be honest with you I feel like barbs are barbs they're, they're vicious so have we found the Trinidad Trinidad swollen bald gentleman yet have no. we located him no the health minister looked all around and they just they couldn't find him Pull up that clip, Dan. Let's start there. <clears throat> oh, he's fine. It's Nicki Minaj's cousin's friend's testicles who are swollen from taking the vax. That's the claim. Mm. But it's not anything to do with the physical effect of the vaccine that makes our political class mad. It's the last part of Nicki Minaj's tweet that enrages them. The part where she says you should prey on it, make the decision yourself. Can you pause? Like, bro, like how f- are you going to breeze by the fact that he just goes, her cousin's friend's testicle got swollen? It's in the Chiron. Like, they put it in the lower third. At, at a certain point, oh, on really? one of the most popular, yeah, one of the most popular news broadcasts in the country, if not the most popular, I think he's like going back and forth with Greg Gutfeld or something. I don't know how he got famous, but it literally had like the lower third, like, Nicki Minaj's <laughs> cousin's swollen testicles or something, which is wild. Like, this is, it's a clown show. Yeah, but like Tucker, who is traditionally, does, wouldn't would, would give a fuck about Nicki Minaj. I mean, she would be yeah. a subject of ridicule easily. Oh. Uh, d- you know, uh, corrupting the youth. Oh, speaking of, speak of the witch. Yeah. To Nicki Minaj's fair, cousin's testicles became swollen. Headline, baby! That's right. It's like it's <laughs> such a wild thing to like have a serious news broadcast, and it's like breaking news: Nicki Minaj's cousin's swollen testicles. Number it's one like, rated news show. Yeah, it's like the the wild. I mean, it's wild. He he will propagandize everything, obviously. But to be fair to Tucker, I looked. And you know, I I let my I sicked my community on this too on this little project. Hmm. Maybe he might be a fucking barb, dude. He might be a Nicki Minaj stand because like think he's a barb. The, the only time I've ever seen Tucker Carlson like he brought up Nicki Minaj one time in passing in the past couple of years, where he basically was saying like America is in a America is in a state of decline because like you know young girls are uh, uh, lip syncing the Nicki Minaj or something. But other than that, he is like obliterated uh every wet pop ass star. P-word, yeah. pop, like all that stuff. And huh. you know, Cardi versus Nikki. Like a so I'm thinking barb. he might be he might be a bit of a barb. I don't know. <laughs> I just I, I like to think that, you know, he's just getting down with Nicki Minaj's music. Well, so um wait, bring back that the the headline again. I want to re-examine that where it said the cousin's testes got swollen. Because let's be honest, this is journalism. Um Cousin's testicles? No, fucking get it straight, Tucker. You're a journalist. Even, yeah. Cousin's friend's testicles became swollen. You hack. Get the facts straight. I and know. this is why this show's necessary. I, know. I hope you guys understand. We're here to correct the news with real news. Go ahead, play it. Does, does he show that the tweet the in that testicle? segment? No. I would love to see the test. <laughs> I would love to see what that swollen test. Oh, yeah. by the way, and the story is... Just hoping the tweet, because I, I got to tell you, the whole story is that her cousin's friend's testicle became so swollen after the vaccination that, here, I've got it, that he, it ruined his wedding. His fucking wife dropped his ass because he's got the big ass nut, which is yeah. so unappealing to her. She canceled the whole wedding. Here like if you have normal testicles, like I was willing to marry you, but now I love gigantic his, ones. I can't do it. His nuts was his best. Yeah, it was his best property. Perfectly symmetrical, normal sized balls was what he was like known high, for. High and tight. Yeah. My cousin in Trinidad won't get the vaccine because his friend got it and became impotent. Okay, so so he can't breed. His testicles became swollen. Oh, my goodness. His friend was weeks away from getting married. Now the girl's calling off the wedding after his nuts had become engorged. 
So just pray on it and make sure you're comfortable with your decision not bullied. Exactly. There you have it, guys. It can't be anything else. It's <laughs> it's probably that. It's the vaccine, I think. Yeah, I think everyone was like, he definitely got a STD. Yeah. That and cheated on her. Yeah. If it happened at all. I mean, who, who fucking, I mean. But the fact that Tuck the Dick Carlson actually picked this story up is why we do this show. Yeah. It's just, <laughs> I don't know why they never go with, like, a normal thing. Is ha- Like, anti-vaxxers are never, like... Yeah, you know, my my friend got kind of sick after the vaccine. Right. It's always like and was rendered incapa or was incapacitated for like a week or a sticking month. Sticking to my body. Yeah, it's uh, like I've turned into Magneto. It's the easiest I can manipulate to metal. shit like yeah. or cool stuff. Like yeah, I can manipulate metals now. Yeah, to me that sounded great. Yeah, it's like I'm Magneto. I've always loved Magneto, and yeah. the our aspects of being him makes me want to get double vaccinated. Yeah. It was, um, can, should we finish that video? I kind of want to see his righteous indignation about uh, the giant balls, if, if we could, please. Yeah, so the studio is real, by the way. That's why it was taking so long. Yeah. Uh, three million down. Yeah. Cash Huge space. From taking the it's, yeah, we were going we to do it in my house first, but I was like, you know, we should use a smaller place. Than my house, which is the oh, largest. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. Sits on the largest plot of land in Los Angeles, as many of you know. Yeah, part I heard you got a Nicki house. Minaj's tweet fucked up, that I know. Enrages them. The part where she says you should prey on it, make the decision. That's yourself, what angered people. Like a free human being. That's quote, what angered people bullying. talk. So our media and public health officials didn't like this because they make their livings bullying people. So they couldn't let it stand. This motherfucker actually thought people were mad about the prey and think about it. I mean, not knows, the giant swollen testicles. He, he knows he knows that that's not what they're mad about. He's just that's why he glanced over the the comical cousin's friend's testicles part and immediately switched it over to here you have a free thinker. <laughs> they, they don't may, want you to be a free thinker. It's they like, don't want you praying. He almost turned yeah. into like a like a yeah. religious freedom thing. It's always it's always ridiculous. Yeah. Uh, so uh, in, in short, they wasted so much of the poor. Or Trinidad's government's time. If you can roll that, yeah, they, some secretary came out and was like, "We've investigated the giant testicle claim. They we looked, looked all for around. this man. They looked long and hard, and we, could not find the testicle. We had check marks. We we had a uh, we had a uh, what do you call that shit? What when you stop people on the road? Oh, checkpoints. We had checkpoints. We were examining men's yeah. testicles." Couldn't find it. Devastating. But Dan can find it, right, Dan? <laughs> I can pull it up. G- give me a second, I'll find it. So yes, so claims are being made. <laughs> One of the reasons we could not respond yesterday in real time to Miss Minaj is that we had to check and make sure that what she was claiming was either true or false. We did. We, and unfortunately, we wasted so much time yesterday oh, running we down this false so many claim. Nuts. <laughs> it is, as far as we know, at this point in time, there has been no such reported either side effect or adverse event. Mm. And what was sad about this is that it wasted our time yesterday I mean, trying to track down <laughs> because we take all these claims. Then you can, pop, you know, I, I pre, on one hand, I feel like I could have saved him the time and been yeah. like, it's not true, bro. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what happened there. I don't know why they were like, all hands on deck. We <laughs> yeah. got to find Red this alert. dude's nutsack. <laughs> but there you go. So what, so what have the barbers been doing to you? Have they really been fucking with you? Oh, I mean, not anymore. It was like for the day of, like I ratioed her once. Yeah. And then as soon as that happened, it was like over because like, that's what stan culture revolves around like everything's about like you fell off plus ratio whatever um so the moment i ratioed her it was it was over oh here we have another white supremacist like <laughs> oh you became a white supremacist oh, dude, oh, 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 the most the most racist person in america was was myself for <laughs> for literally saying the person that you're hyping up Nicki minaj is a white nationalist no, which by the talk. way yeah, yeah. I, and 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 that she had reduced that to a simple party disagreement. Like, I was just like, whatever, you know? They just don't want, they don't want you to, to agree with uh, those on the other side. It's like, yeah, but the, some of the people on the other side are, are white supremacists and white nationalists. For and like, sure. 
I mean, there's racist people on the Democratic Party, too, but, like, goddamn, like, this dude literally makes a living trafficking uh, racial agitation uh, talking points, propaganda talking points. Well, you'll see we have uh, at the bottom of our show, the hog of the day is going to be tuck with some of the most racist shit. Oh, yeah. Straight up, like, KKK talking points. Yeah, once he was done, once he was done de defending Nicki Minaj's cousin's uh, friend's testicles, he was like... <laughs> Back to calling Haitian migrants like dirty, and <laughs> right. you know we need to purge them. We need from to the whip them on yeah. horseback. Yeah, good optics.